Hi guys, my name is Bill, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to test the thermistors on this machine. Now there's a total of six. There's one in the ice maker, one outside the refrigerator, and two others in each compartment. One is for detecting the temperature inside the compartment, the other one is for controlling the defrost system. So I'm going to show you on the back where the control board is on how to test them. Alright, so this is what one of the thermistors looks like. This is the ambient and it basically it detects the room temperature. I'd imagine if it's too cold, it won't let the compressor start, or if it's too hot, it won't let the compressor start. So I'd imagine that's what the purpose of this is, but it functions exactly the same as all the other ones. Okay, and here's the one inside the refrigerator compartment, just behind this little, little guy. Same thing, they all basically look the same, and they all function off resistance. Okay, so the first sensor we're gonna look at is the ambient sensor has two white wires that plug into CN31, so let's find that down by the control board. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the CN31 connector and the plug that goes into it with the two white wires. Now I've taken some paper clip, shoved it in there, connected my meter to ohms. I'm getting 5,077, or five kilo ohms. That's at room temperature, probably about 70 degrees, which it about what it is outside now. So what I'm going to do is put my hand on the ambient sensor on top of the door hinge and we're going to watch the resistance change. So I got my hand on it now and it's going to take a couple seconds and then the temperature is going to, well not the temperature, but the, the resistance is going to start to lower down. And we can see it's just going to continue to drop as the outside temperature is increasing. So at room temperature, you should get about 5 kilo ohms on all the different sensors. The rest of them are going to be on this plug right here. And I'll show you on the wiring, di wiring diagram which wires to test. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the wiring diagram. Now this is the connector that I just showed you. So between brown and yellow is going to be the freezer section temperature thermistor and between brown and orange is going to be the defrost thermistor for the freezer compartment. And then down here we have the brown and blue for the compartment on the refrigerator section and then brown and purple for the refrigerator defrost sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and just check the refrigerator. It's at room temperature right now and we're going to see what kind of resistance we get. Okay, so now that we looked at the wiring diagram, I have my paper clip shoved in the brown terminal and the blue, and we're getting 5.4 kilo ohms, which means it's slightly cooler inside the refrigerator compartment. Slightly cooler inside the refrigerator compartment than outside in, the, in my garage here. Now, if you wanted to test the defrost, you just go from brown to purple, and that's gonna give you the refrigerator defrost. On this side of the connector, you got your brown and yellow, and your brown and orange for the freezer compartment. Alright, so what we're looking at here is the thermistor value chart. And as you can, well, my garage was actually 75 degrees, as you can see here on the chart. So that's why we got about 5, five kilo ohms. Now, if you were to take a resistor or a thermistor and stick it in a glass of ice water, you'd get about 16.3 kilo ohms. So now at room temperature, if you're off more than 5% of 5 kilo ohms, then the thermistor is bad and should be replaced. So here's a little chart, so you kind of have an idea what, what value you should get depending on the temperature that you're at. Okay guys, so there's a video on how to test the thermistors on your Samsung refrigerator. Now in the description, I want to put a link to where you can purchase one if you need to replace it. And you would know you would want to replace one is if you set your temperatures to say 37 at zero and your refrigerator is 45 degrees or your freezer is hanging at 10 degrees and it doesn't match what you set it. So the resistances could be off and you have a bad thermistor and they're relatively cheap. I think they're less than $10 to replace them. So it's definitely a, an affordable repair if that's the problem you're having. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that now. And thanks for watching.